Hey, what is going on, SMT Nation? It is your boy, the SMT. AT&T business update for you. If you are a person that is interested in what a company is doing, perhaps you're an investor or you are just an interested customer and you want to know more about the direction of the business and how things are going financially, this update is going to offer you great insight. So stick around. We've got all that news for you now. So at the City Global Conference, AT&T offered a business update from their CTO, John Stevens. Why do we really care about something like this? The answer lies in the fact that AT&T does have a considerable amount of debt. Their debt load is astronomical to most people when they view the number. It's incredible. We're talking about $100 billion from the Time Warner deal, and we're talking about an additional $50, 60 $67 billion or so out of the DirecTV deal. So over the last five, six, seven years, things have been kind of rough. Looking at all that debt, it's very intimidating. An investor would likely stay away. The difference is, is that AT&T is a massive company that generates tons and tons of revenue. So people continue to invest, and because they pay a healthy dividend, people always have interest in the stock. So some of the major things that the CTO, John Stevens, offered. The first thing was AT&T's network investment, as well as its wireless device pricing, is showing big momentum in the wireless business. They've been doing great things with FirstNet. They've been selling a crap ton of iPhones. The wireless side looks pretty good. In my opinion, I think the plans are competitive. They offer excellent value, especially the plans that include the HBO Max. The hotspot allowance is very competitive and very good. I also think they offer one of the best capacitive networks in the nation. When it comes to network access, it is very good. No other company will give you the video resolution playback that AT&T does. And when considering the iPhone 12 family of devices, the sales have been amazing. I know that they sold quite a bit. They've been selling the 12, the 12 Pro, the 12 Pro Max, and even the minis. Those numbers are starting to look pretty good. I don't know about the mini sales. I hear those are lackluster, but the others seem to be selling great, and their promotions are very attractive. The second piece that he spoke to was the HBO Max activations appear to be growing. Those sales are increasing with the move over to the studios releasing movies away from the theater and releasing them all direct to the platform, they're seeing an above average high subscriber engagement over the holiday season. You know, for example, what happened with Wonder Woman 1984. People are engaged in the app, they're viewing the content, and with all those new titles going straight to the app to HBO Max, things are looking pretty good on that side. And the last thing he spoke to, he mentioned that there will be financial flexibility in 2021. So that seems kind of counterproductive. It, it really doesn't make sense. If you heard the beginning where I talked about their debt load, that doesn't really seem to jive. But the truth of the matter is that AT&T is smart. They're going to continue to invest in things that make them money and generate the revenue. So they're going to continue to expand their fiber footprint, continue with those installations, expand that network operation, continue to build out their 5G, continue to push and expand the HBO Max, and work on the AT&T services sales. So AT&T's business focus is going to be wireless and 5G, the fiber optic installs, the business side, as well as media. All right, I know HBO Max seems promising, though the whole HBO thing, the studios seem pretty good, but the AT&T TV thing, we got to talk about that. Everything that I just listed is fantastic except the AT&T TV product. The contract that's associated with that service, you know, the second year basically doubling in price. That balloon pricing stuff is for the birds. Nobody does that anymore. People are now moving towards cord cutting and streaming services more than ever. They're perfectly comfortable staying away from a service. No matter how good the first year pricing is, they don't want that second year pricing. And in my opinion, I don't care what it takes. Do whatever. Get rid of DirecTV. Offload that sucker. Take $12 billion, $15 billion, whatever the best offer is, just go ahead and take it. He did mention that they expect to generate $26 billion in cash flow over the course of 2021. He did say that they would also generate $21 billion in gross capital assets. Expect a bounce back year for AT&T on several of their measurables. We'll see what happens, but AT&T does continue to pay their dividends. I know there was no dividend increase you know, over the last quarter. This is the first time in a long time. But hey, what are you going to do? It's a pandemic year. They're in a tough spot with their financial debt. There are things they have to address, but hey, they're still paying that dividend and it's still an attractive stock. 
Let me know what you think of this insight from their CTO, John Stevens. I'd love to hear what you have to say. Again, I personally believe that AT&T is not in shambles. I don't believe or subscribe to this concept that AT&T is going to fall apart and file for bankruptcy. And, oh, here we go. AT&T is done. That's not happening. This company is too big. They generate way too much revenue. They're just going to have to figure things out, take a patient approach to reducing that debt load. And I think investors are just going to have to accept that fact. What say you? I'd love to hear what you have to say. The voice of the people, the SMT Nation, let your voice be heard. Thank you for taking this opportunity to watch the SMT YouTube channel. If you appreciated this video, give it a like and a share to all your favorite social media platforms. Thank you in advance for that. Also, check out some of the links in the description box. We have the SMT Patreon page. We also have the Twitter handle at Sneed Tech. And do check out the audio-only podcast available on all the major podcast platforms. And if you are new and have yet sub- have not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and activate the bell notification icon so you never miss an upload from the SMT. We'll catch you on the next video. Peace.